So if you're counting, and I, I know a lot of you parents are, only four days left now until the start of school for tens of thousands of students across our area. School districts are running out of time for a very important piece of the puzzle, though. They want to make sure that all the classrooms have teachers. Yeah, in some cases, students may have a virtual teacher. WRL investigate Sarah Kruger partnered up with our education insider Emily Walkenhorst to show us the great lengths many schools are going to just to make sure that all classrooms have teachers. As students head back to the classroom, some school systems are still dealing with teacher vacancies. I remember when I first started teaching, it was hard to get a teaching job. Nakia McIver, now in human resources for Robeson County Schools, knows that is no longer true. Now you can go to any district and almost any school you want and find an opening. Education insider Emily Walkenhorst found that some districts are using virtual teachers for in-person students. That's happening in at least 16 public school systems like Durham, Granville and Wayne. It's one way to try to keep up with the shrinking interest in the profession. Researchers from UNC found the number of teachers leaving their jobs is climbing fast. Where it was at 11 percent statewide, from September 2021 to September 2022, it jumped to nearly 16 percent. The researchers believe that's because teaching is harder than ever, with learning deficits and student mental health challenges fueled by the pandemic. When teachers leave, that can have an adverse impact on student achievement. And it certainly has financial implications for districts and schools who then have to, you know, spend a significant amount of money to sort of refill that position. So how are districts finding teachers? They're casting a wider net. Local school systems told us they now recruit all over the country. Massachusetts, New York, Ohio, Maryland, Tennessee, Florida, to name a few. And in some cases, they're thinking bigger, sending staff out of the country to go find talent. We've gone to Honduras and Jamaica um, last year and this year. Michelle Hayes does those trips for Durham from public schools. She says this year they have 43 incoming international teachers. That includes educators from Honduras, Jamaica, the Philippines, Zimbabwe, Colombia, and Canada. How grateful are you to these international teachers? They're stepping up and filling a big need here in Durham. Oh, very grateful. They come already experienced teachers, and it's a great opportunity for them to come to the United States. It's a recruiting strategy DPS plans to continue, one they believe has benefits for everyone involved. It's always going to be a win-win when you're learning from different people. Um, I think that, once again, is make you culturally rich. Sarah Kruger, WRL News, Durham. Now we got the latest numbers, so let's take a look at how many teacher vacancies there are in our local districts. In Durham Public Schools right now, 113. In Cumberland County Schools, 119. And take a look in Wake County, significantly larger than those two districts I mentioned, 294 vacancies.